morning guys today is friday august 16th okay the moon is in pisces we also have mercury and leo squaring uranus and taurus and the moon conjuncting black moon lilith now today we have an 11 11 portal with uh the moon and black moon lilith okay so something is manifesting in the physical realm and with mercury and leo squaring uranus and taurus this could be short circuiting or something blowing up okay changes in comfort or shocking changes in the home mercury and leo um has to do with fires could be traveling fires or fires and short circuiting in machinery computers um even the vehicle with uh, mercury it could be short circuiting in thinking um along with the uh, that conjunction okay so somebody could literally freak the fuck out and uh, ooh, for some, it might not be a really good date at all. And with the Pisces component, usually Pisces is about love and compassion and um, boundless love. This could also be, you know, this because it is in a square, this could also be confusion. Okay. It could also be um, alcohol, drugs, and pills. Uh, turning to those kind of vices. That's my daughter, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> drugs um or vices uh because some shit went down okay uranus and taurus that would be like my tower card so for some of you guys you could like um you could have had your house robbed or there could have been a fire something having to do with wires i keep getting wires wires and sparks okay so something is definite short circuiting if it's not in an actual machine then somebody somebody's brain is short-circuiting either they're going to be really really angry or they uh, they could be angry and confused or they're going to be just really really confused um oh okay i just heard shit face so for some of you guys somebody might get really really trashed today and they might get they might be kind of nasty they might be kind of nasty i don't know what to say um but on the positive note you know, like I was saying, Pisces can be boundless love because Pisces ha has issues with boundaries. So on the positive note, this could be unconditional love. And then Mercury squaring Uranus and Taurus, uh, that could be healthy communication or talking to kids about uh, healthy things. There was uh, smoking. Leo is smoke, fire, and sparks. So it can be smoking and vaping, and we're actually seeing that on the news. So with Mercury and Leo squaring Uranus and Taurus, this could be, this could very well be, um, I, I was actually seeing it on the news last night about those kids that were hospitalized for vaping, you know. So Uranus and Taurus could be injuries because Mercury and Leo can also be accidents. Hmm, interesting. So there could be like freak accidents involving smoke and fire, uh, possibly cars, but with the full moon in Aquarius being yesterday, this is airlines and airplanes too, and we were actually seeing that changes in flying, changes in comfort and flying. Air, I just, I'm getting um, pressure change, a pressure change in the cabin. So even like if somebody, wow, they're not giving me any cards. So this could be like, you know, we're seeing a lot of uh, airplanes like crashing or having emergency landings. You know, with Uranus being retrograde in Taurus, uh, that can be emergencies, inner emergencies, inner turmoil. So there's a, there's a heightened sense of emergency today. And it's like final destination. So some destined and fated events will be happening today. Be prepared. Be prepared. And do not blame anybody else. Okay, I've shuffled this four times. Obviously, they don't want me to use those cards. Let's go on to the Parrot Tarot. Now, this deck has four extra cards in it in honor of Chiron. We don't have Chiron transits today, but we did have yesterday. Okay, so that energy is still effective today. That was, <clears throat> let me look. Mercury trining Chiron and Aries at five degrees. Okay, so a lot of you guys uh, will be trying your best to talk yourself down when shit hits the fan. So for a lot of you guys, there'll be more shit hitting the fan. Um, I'm seeing people with multiple towers, like 
ships going down for them and they're trying their best to handle it. In the last couple of days, they've been calm and detached. Thank you, Aquarius Energy. Um, but today, if shit happens, we may just get a showing of emotions in relation to events that have happened. Yep, look at that. Sacrifice. Oh, look at that. <laughs> First two cards. Uh, eight of, okay. Eight of Cups and Six of Swords. Okay, so we are learning to walk away from some things. And the fact that this is a Cups, this tells me emotion. So big order of the day. Watch yourself. Watch how you act. Try not to react, but instead try to respond. So when shit hits the fan, try to keep your wits about you because it's not going to help anybody if you're panicking. You're not going to be able to move forward and think logically and rationally in order to problem solve if you can't clear up those emotions. So some of you guys could literally be crying. For some of you guys, this could be a huge fight in the home and somebody leaves it. This could be a confrontation in where, you know, there's finger pointing, you don't do this, you don't do that. Or this could be somebody saying, I'm tired of this not being done for me if they're coming from a healthier place. But also remember too, you know, sometimes you got to put your foot down and say enough is enough. Okay, now this will apply in several different ways in several different areas. So use your discrimination take what resonates. So there's going to be some kind of sacrifice today. You're going to have to give something up, either a person, place, or thing, a home, a possession, some type of comfort or security. Um, it can be related to like a phone or a computer or a car or an airplane. Um, this could actually be somebody who's traveling. They could have a Leo sun, moon, or rising. So you could also lose a person too. They could be named Leo or they could have Leo in their chart somewhere that um, it's being affected. Um, so some of it can be due to ego and some of it can be due to because it's the right thing to do. It's healthier and you have to do something in order to love yourself. Okay. Six of Swords, Passage. Okay. Uh, rite of Passage. This is past karmic lessons. This shows that you're moving on from the past. Okay, so with Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords, you are being tested. There is something that threatened to um, make you blow your fuse. And this was just testing. This was practicing what you have learned. So now that we've become consciously aware, here comes the testing. <laughs> okay, keep your cool no matter what happens. Because if you don't keep your cool, Shit can get out of hand. You're going to suffer. The people around you are going to suffer. But if you keep your cool, you may find that initially you're punished, but eventually you get rewarded because sometimes things are taken from you or you have to give up something in order for something new to come in. Okay, life lesson. Nine of Cups and High Priestess. Look at that. Happiness and fulfillment of an old wish. Nine can be about unconditional love, which we have Pisces. Okay, so we got eight to the Nine of Cups. Having to sacrifice something and an old wish coming true. And the high priest, the unknown. Being comfortable with the unknown and loving yourself even though you don't know what's going to come next. You know that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. So this is more about going with the flow. There's a lot of um, water energy with this high priestess here confirming. So there's a lot of emotions for past thoughts. And there's this sense of, oh, well, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, but I know I have to be okay with it. I have to be open and accepting of what is. Everything is perfect as, as, it's, as it should be. High Priestess is also about your intuition and your inner divinity. Okay, some of you guys may be able to find that happy place <laughs> after limitations of the mind, okay? <laughs> your strengths and limitations. Mentor of Swords, I will read that to you. That is Air Energy, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. This is a spiritual person who uses intellect and service to divine, not to attack unity. Okay, it, it definitely uh, full moon and Aquarius energy still, okay, because it's about union, it's about compromise, it's about making whole decisions. So deciding to act a certain way is going to be based on what you think and what you feel rather than a reaction okay so that's like a period of pause to reflect okay and it's not a long period it's just thinking okay I can't just freak the fuck out I need to chill and go with the flow because 
that's going to make life easier on me. That's going to make life easier on everybody around me. I don't need to make everybody else miserable. Okay, it's definitely lessons about the strengths and limitations of the intellect. So this is like the realization that you can only do so much and that you can't spin. You can't mentally spin on something because there's really nothing you can do until the opportunity comes. So why make the present miserable? Okay, just wait for your opening. Wait for the universe to give you that opening to fix something. Maybe it's not supposed to be fixed. Maybe you're supposed to release that attachment. Also Aquarius energy. Okay, this can also be sudden physical violence often involved from a rush conclusion like ending a relationship to somebody dying or being killed. So with electricity, with the uh, Mercury and Leo squaring Uranus and Taurus and that electricity component with the full moon and Aquarius, there's shock. There's a lot of things. Um, I keep wanting to say short circuiting because that, that's, that's the phrase I've been getting for the last two days or so. So this is a lesson in how not to short circuit or a lesson in something short circuiting and you resigning to, okay, I don't know what's going to happen, but okay, whatever will be, will be. And they keep giving me that too. Okay, so there's a lesson. Um, I, I shit you not, I did tell you guys that it was about being tested after you've learned something. Now here comes the physical test, okay? Your chance to show what you have learned, okay? And that's like a cementing in of that positivity, of that timeline. You're now aware, you're now putting it into practice. Okay, here's your midterm, <laughs> basically. Okay, four pentacles. So something could be taken from you. Um, this can definitely be the Uranus and Taurus. Look at that. Uranus is ruled by Aquarius. Okay, so, <laughs> so we've got Uranus and Taurus here. So there's definitely a change in comfort level. Okay, pushing you, testing you to your limits. Okay, you may feel like you're being ripped off or you may feel like something is not fair. Because four of pentacles can be um, being greedy, being selfish, hoarding, being possessive. Just a second, guys. Something's coming in. Being possessive. There's there's an element of jealousy here, too. Almost like somebody is wishing that you would suffer. The reason why I say that, this is the first time I noticed that, too, in the Four of Pentacles. You see how that eye is green? This is like green with envy. And I've been seeing green and blue a lot. That could mean the sea. That could mean the air and sea. Okay, and... and We've got some big planets in uh, all kinds of signs up there. So this could be somebody being watched from above because that's one eye. That's the all-seeing eye, the eye that presides above us. Envy. Why am I getting envy? You could be jealous of somebody else or somebody is jealous of you. It's almost like you're, you're, somebody wished that you would learn your lesson or it was brought down upon you because you were being too possessive. You were too attached to something and now here's the severing of attachment. Yeah, like some, the feeling like somebody's been robbed or ripped off or... Um, there's something stolen from you. Could be your time, could be your mind, could be your sanity, could be your peace of mind with the Aquarius energy. And once again, there's that question mark. The question mark is uh, also another mystery with the high priestess, the unknown. Okay, so look, the eye, it's above the eye. So the eye is watching you. They're watching to see what you're going to do. 
there are ancestors watching you. There are Whatever you do, the electricity from that kind of adds to the collective. So if you react from a place of fear, it's like a powering down. It's trying to put negative into an already positive charge. It doesn't belong. Okay. You could be... Yeah, it's almost like you're being attacked. Um, this could be psychically attacked coming out in the physical realm in the form of a lesson, but it's also timely because this is supposed to happen. Yeah, somebody's not wishing you well. They're wishing that, you you know, for some, you're wishing somebody would just die. <laughs> you're wishing somebody would just go away, or you're wishing somebody would just break with something like I wish you'd quit drinking I wish you quit driving drunk I wish you quit um, I wish you quit driving like a maniac um, I wish you quit taking all my time I wish you'd quit renting space in my head yeah there's a sense of jealousy somebody feels like they own you You may have to express to somebody that you don't owe me, you don't control me, okay? And this could possibly be you telling your negative thoughts, you will not grab me and snag me into this perpetual spiral, okay? There's only so much I take, I can take, I cannot dip into that spiral that you're being sucked into. Hmm, interesting, all right. Oh, there's another mentor. Mentor of this. Three of pentacles. Mentor of cups. Emperor and the star. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of emperors in my reading. That's three emperors in one reading. So there's major lessons. Um, I don't know if I'd said it, but it feels like a uh, succession of tower moments. Now, I was getting this a little while ago. I was trying to remember when I was getting that. Maybe it was the last time that Uranus went in retrograde. Or the last time that it... It came out of retrograde. I was getting a series of tower moments, like, but last time it was like two or three towers, like a double whammy or triple whammy. And now it's like a chain reaction. Okay, so it feels like there's some um, negative energy harnessing here. Like there's going to be a harvest of negative energy and it feels like it's on purpose. Hold on, guys. Also, too, I'm going to tell you right now that I see some negative things in here. Like somebody, there is, um, there is a death here. Um, the burning of possessions is what I was feeling. And with, even though Aquarius is air, there's this component of ice, too. Because this is sun, this is sun in Capricorn, so that's earth energy and air energy. When we have air and earth together, that's, in that equation, I would equate that to more as shock, Uranus and Taurus. Changes in the earth, that's like earthquakes. And since it's internal, this can be internal earthquakes. So somebody could literally explode and there could be a murder because they feel they own you. They're not going to let you leave them. So this can be physical violence. This can be um, domestic violence, assault, all the way up to murder. Mentor of death. Let me read the mentor of death. Can find my paper we've got mentor of this and that is as above so below so this is something manifesting on the physical realm a lesson manifesting in the physical this was a lesson of limitations okay and then we have mentor of this and three of this a dark-skinned person any gender any age with something of a material nature to share from physical fitness to sexuality investment practices material work all the way to warfare and this can be a teacher or a student so somebody has been uh, experiencing some lessons, okay? And like I was saying, this is the midterm. 
So we're experiencing a physical limitation as well as a mental limitation that we're overcoming. Okay, it's taking something because we also have three of pentacles. Now this can be teamwork. This can be putting in all your energy. This could also be doing it by yourself. So some of you guys are realizing that you have to get up and do things for yourself. You can't keep expecting somebody else to do it. You don't own them. They're not your slave. So this is once again encouraging a physical self-reliance. This is mental. This one's physical. And then we have Mentor of Cups. Mentor of Cups. Voice of Water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. A spiritual person with a sacred commitment to the sensual. It's the difference between enjoying the finer things in life and sinking into excess. Like loving luxury or sensory pleasure. It's also learning about receptivity and reflectiveness, sensuality and sharing, and loving without owning. And it's nurturing and healing of our own feelings. So this is like, hold on. For some of you, you may have realized that you may have to do some physical things by yourself and it's manifesting in the realm, or you could be realizing that you need help with something, okay, and somebody shows up, uh, I want to say one of your partners. Now, something that I've noticed is, like, in my circle around me, all my friends tend to be, majority of them, my best friends have been Geminis. I, you know, I have a, my brother's Gemini, my two sons who were same, born on the same day, nine years apart, who had the same due date and the same birthday, which are not the same, um, both of them, <laughs> nine years apart, um, and there's a, there's a lot of unconditional love between them. But for me, the Geminis are in my third house, so I'm finding that if somebody's sign, sun sign, is in your third house, then three is like you can go cruising with them. Okay, you can talk to them. There, you have this intelligent um, relationship, and you guys can hang out and you get along. So, I mean, I didn't even think about it this morning, but with this, you know, working together in a team cooperation, this would be somebody you need help from that's in your third house, you know, your, uh, not necessarily ride or die, but this is somebody that you can communicate with and somebody that you can work with, um, on a deeper level, probably somebody from your friend circle. And then, like, even my old man, his sign, his rising sign with my rising sign are, um, well, it's, wait, wait a minute. What was it? 11, 12. I forgot what it was, but we have something in the third house. So I'm like, oh, okay, so we can cruise together. I, I kept getting the word cruise, the third house. So this is like your partner in crime. So this person that you're getting help from, um, in the physical realm is kind of like a partner in crime, a good friend, somebody who uh, came when you called, okay, they're down, they're down. Can you help me with this? I'm down, I'll be there, you know. Mentor of Cups is Voice of Water. Oh, I already read that, duh. Loving without owning and nurturing and healing of our own feelings, okay? So somebody is pretty grateful that they have good friends that will come to their rescue right when they need them. And they're kind of feeling like, you know, they didn't want to ask. They didn't want to ask. Oh, my God, I have to help ask somebody for help again, okay? But this is the true blue friend that comes in and says, all right, let's get this done, okay? So you guys are, phys are doing something in the physical realm together. There is definitely work. Okay, and they will come and give to you probably most likely because you've helped them before. So now this is kind of like a karmic payback. Okay, love you, bro. Sometimes you're too much, but I love you anyways. I'll come and help. Okay, now, Mentor of Cups and the Emperor, they could be like freaking out too much, um, nursing their wounds, um, Sucking it up and resigning to oh fuck I gotta I gotta call in the troops I gotta call in the cavalry okay so it's like you know calling in the cavalry getting a grip um, but taking action we we have the emperor and we have the star so this could you know this could literally be an Aries sun moon or rising or something is landing in the first house for somebody. Uh, prompting them to take action. I just heard I know how this looks. 
and then they're bringing they keep bringing me back to that one eye not to the two eyes up here but to the one eye okay so it's almost like the universe is watching spirit is watching you are being watched for your progress okay how well have you learned your lessons about controlling yourself and remaining on stable ground okay then we have the star card which is Aquarius we just had the full moon in Aquarius okay so for a lot of you guys this is healing this is dreams a wish coming true you've got two wishes coming true okay so you may be able to gain your composure with the help of this friend and uh, nurse your wounds like all right you know what I, I will get this under control and then what happens is you get this under control you manage to control yourself okay because there is an element I get I was getting Pisces too, looking at the moon the moon is in Pisces so you may if you have a habit or an addiction you may have to control that especially today to take care of something that's short-circuited or there could be somebody that that's been shit-faced and then today they're like okay I'm not doing that today I need to take care of stuff okay and then this is get her done the star submitting to Submitting to or admitting to the reality of the situation. But it's also maintaining control and knowing that everything has its time, everything has its place. So yeah, definite testing, but it looks like um, you come out pretty stellar with this test. Um, somebody's passing a test. nice okay wealthy man a changed man okay there is a test going on a testing of you recognize that it's a test only after you passed it <laughs> okay and also it makes you take a look and go okay well you know that's way better way better than it was you know a year ago I would have lost my shit things would have went bad everything would have went to hell and I would have sat here miserable locked into my past ego feeling like a victim where now I'm like oh what are you gonna do okay so somebody's definitely reserving their energy preserving their energy there's no spin going on here there was an attempt to spin but they checked themselves wealthy man can be like the investor okay so spend time getting some shit done stay on top of it you've got this okay and then always Watch how you respond. Don't react. Okay, take it easy because it's a lot easier to um, deal with something when you're cool, calm, and collected rather than out of your freaking mind. <laughs> Sis. Ten of hearts reversed. Okay, so whatever you're attempting to fix today, it's possible that it's not going to get fixed. Um, no matter what you try or you could be just expressing to your friend who comes and rescues you I tried to do something to it uh, I tried to fix it I thought I fixed it and it didn't work okay oh Prince five of Pentacles and Prince of Pentacles so yeah somebody could literally be traveling to you okay it doesn't mean that this uh, wealthy man is any of these other things but this is a person who doesn't spin on anything they reserve their energy they're loving themselves they're also a changed person because they're consciously aware of how they're coming across okay and it's a new consciousness you know like I said this is practice your midterm five of Pentacle and Prince of Pentacles so some of you guys may be out out of luck um, shit out of luck left out in the cold a lot of fear a lot of anxiety when somebody comes just because of the situation but then being there makes you feel better anyways because this is your backup remember what I said that's your buddy this is a buddy system 
somebody coming in. Prince of Pentacles can be traveling too. It's also uh, slowly but surely and it's reliability. So you guys could take a look at whatever went wrong and be like, oh boy, okay, well that's done or it's on its way out. I don't know what to tell you. You're shit out of luck. communication about money discussion I spent this I spent that already I've had to oh mr. money <laughs> this may be um, I've had to buy this I had to buy that and it didn't work so yeah you might be feeling uh, ripped off because you tried to solve a situation and spent money oh yeah look at that <laughs> um, because you had to spend money and we have thief clarifying Prince of Pentacles and five of Pentacles so yeah you may feel like you wasted all that time, you wasted all that money, or this could be a wasted trip, uh, being, not being able to find what you're looking for or get what you're looking for. Or you could be communicating about the value of something that you can't find or the value of something that you lost. Um, feeling like you're robbed or somebody did rob you. This is a physical manifestation. Yeah. Just a second, guys. Yeah, this is robbery. There's some robbery going on. Um, let's see, Mercury and Leo. So it has to do with, it could be, oh, it can be something happening with your car. You feel like you're robbed. You could be like carjacked or your car could be stolen. Um, or you could have had an accident and you had to park your car and go get a friend to help you. And when you come back, you find that your car has been broken into. Or some kind of short-circuiting fuses. That, that could have been a fuse blown. Hold on. This could literally be a car jacking. Something took your mode of traveling. This could be like a holdup in an airplane because of the Aquarius energy in flight, okay, with Mercury in, in the course of traveling. So I was getting carjacking. They're either robbing you in your car or they're robbing you of your car or your car was broken into and items were stolen from the vehicle. Okay, courtship. So there was temptation here. Um, courtship is about... Um, it's about temptation. Somebody's trying to court you. They're trying to date you. They're trying to tempt you. They're trying to seduce you. They want to establish a relationship with you. Temptation. Hmm. I don't understand what the temptation is all about. It could be you're tempted to go back to that place, go back to the 3D place. You're tempted to... Uh, Loo completely lose your shit to uh, short circuit, but it oh, look at that the moon in Aquarius, the seven of swords. This is lies and this is betrayal. Okay, so you really are tempted to completely lose your shit because you feel robbed. Um, something's taken away from you, either a person, place, or thing, most likely during travel, most likely a possession or um, a material comfort, could even be your home, but something that you were once secure with, a stable foundation, has been taken or stolen from you, okay, it can most likely be a vehicle. Okay, this is this way, so this is this way. Seven of Swords and Ten of Wands, betrayal, lies, a burden, Opposing a burden.
also deception. Okay, so this is ba <laughs> this is telling yourself it's going to be okay. Okay. Temptation, wanting to go there, trying to establish a foundation or a relationship with somebody, trying to tempt somebody with a the comfort. There was a uh, Okay, so if you guys are parking your vehicle or whatever, make sure that you take your personal possessions with you. Don't leave like your purse or a laptop in full view that I somebody's watching, somebody's surveilling you. They could be casing you already, so don't leave any valuables in your car. I'm I'm hearing tourists, so it could be a tourist, um, a a ring, a string of tourists' vehicles being broken into and possessions being stolen because they were careless with their items. They put them in full view and somebody got tempted, okay, and, you know, seven of swords, betrayal. They gave, somebody gave in to that temptation. Ten of wands, a burden, oppression. They gave in to that temptation and they figured, well, these fuckers are rich. They don't need that, okay? So there is a, not necessarily higher power, but I want to say evil, but there is a um, entity, could be a human, that is not, uh, what do you call it? They're not here to benefit you. This is ego, selfish ego. Oh, look at that. I want that. I'm going to take it from you. So, yet again, this is something being pulled from you or stolen from you. There is that element of theft or feeling like you're being robbed. So, this could be several situations, uh, you know, and for one person, this is all you. You're really getting hit here. For others, this is multiple situations that happens. Major temptations. It also could be something something that you had that you were comfortable with that is established. You know, I keep getting car, keep getting car, could be truck, um, some kind of vehicle, some kind of foundation, something that you always counted on to be there. Uh, most likely something you use or have or see every day person place or thing idea possession um, this is in the physical realm a physical comfort is taken from you now like it could be somebody with the seven of swords you know I, I, I am definitely seeing the swords or the dagger so this could be a stabbing also by knife point Intimidation tactics with the Mercury and Leo. Uh, ego. Bullying. You could be bullied out of something. Yeah. Bullied out of something using a knife. This could also be rape, guys. So for some, there's a rape element in here that somebody is trying to release because um, they could have been feeling like they deserved it. Now, also, too, guys, be aware that this is not necessarily what's going on in the present, although it is. This can also be about um, past incidences of robberies and accidents and short-circuiting and, you know, sexual violence or assault just because we have so much retrograde energy. And we do have the Six of Swords, so this is also the past, things happening in the past. So this could be an old case or a cold case in which there could have been a murder during a home invasion, carjacking, or sexual assault with a knife, with a deadly weapon. There could also be the tendency to go to the 3D thoughts um, enjoying saying, uh, enjoying saying that, oh, I hope something bad happens to them. Going to that 3D place, but be careful what you wish for, okay? With the Aquarius full moon, your intentions should be pure. If they're malintended, you, you will be the one that ends up suffering, okay? So there's somebody here that's jealous 
for some reason you may have had to cut them out and they're wishing you harm they really don't want they really don't want you to go further they're kind of wishing you'd stay in your hole and then the universe could be presenting that to you it could be manifesting to you in the physical realm that something goes wrong but it's doubling as a lesson from the universe the universe is watching they're watching you with the big eyes above they're watching to everyone's looking to see what you will do everyone's looking at you okay because it matters how you respond right now because your abundance ain't going to come in if you respond in the 3d way here so somebody's in 3d wishing you harm and you're trying your best to stay positive trying your best to reserve your energy and not spin and spiral look at that temperance the leveling angel so for some of you guys this is the angel coming in and taking something away from you in order to create some kind of balance okay can be a balance in the physical realm can be a balance in the ethereal realm This could also be a lesson in uh, divine timing, okay? Everything happens exactly when it's supposed to. The angel of justice is also the angel of vengeance. So if somebody is wishing that on you and it's coming to fruition, there's this double lesson being learned here, okay? Two towers, two tower moments without the tower angelic justice this is like divine intervention so something divine intervention how did I keep myself from being robbed how did I keep myself from being raped how did I keep myself from being carjacked talk to them you put a face with your name rather than becoming an object you realize that you had to humanize yourself this could have been like preaching religion talking somebody into you know um, using the fear of God using the fear of God connecting with the person who's trying to hurt you on a spiritual level because there is a message that you need to deliver that is why this person has come to hurt you because you have a message for them and you will not hold it against them you will try to see that you didn't deserve this but there is a reason for everything could be that somebody tries and you talk them out of it and it was for you to turn that person good because we do have a complete change of e events here Uranus is retrograde in Taurus so there can be a flipping the switch of the energy okay somebody who used to react out in an angry egotistical bullying way could suddenly change and become kind uh, and giving okay but also on the same note somebody who was kind and giving can flip the switch and become angry um, if they've been too complacent So this could be somebody who pushed you into something because they wanted to uh, um, not not intimidate. Well, they wanted to intimidate you. That's part of it. But they want they they uh, they themselves were powerless. So in order for them to feel powerful, they had to hold somebody else back. Okay, taking disempowering someone. Okay, but then you come in with your spiritual talk and you return their power so it's kind of like they end up releasing you you talked your way out of a dangerous situation let me clarify temperance please and temperance is number 14 okay so it's about controlling the self and having honorable intentions and speaking the truth 
Five of Pentacles re, uh, reversed, okay? Where it was upright, oh, is it, yeah, where it's upright over here, that's the fear coming in. And then here we are with um, everything's happening. This is a case of the right place at the right time or the wrong place at the right, right uh, wrong place at the wrong time or right time, okay? But, you know, fears, release the fears and find your happy place. Anxiety. Somebody could have done this betrayal or done this lying out of worry or fear or because they felt alone in this world. And then you talk to them and you make them realize that you are human and you make them feel like they're human again. Okay, so you talk them into releasing the fears. That could very well happen. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this up because we're already going on 45 minutes. So, yeah, you could talk somebody out of rape, out of theft, out of freaking out. End of rope. I just heard end of rope. So somebody's, somebody's at the end of their rope. Or they're feeling like they're at the end of their rope. Gifts from God. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. So with this 1111 portal, you may very well get some kind of gift. Okay, It could be a, situa a person, place, or thing, a situation, an idea. You could get a sudden inspiration, you know. Hey, I'm so scared, but you know what? I know that my angels are with me. I'm going to release that fear. And I'm just going to keep talking. And I'm going to try my best to come from a place of love. Take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. Okay, so, you know, they're telling you to... Stop feeling powerless and, and feel powerful, okay? When you, allow, when you come from a place of love, you allow other people to feel powerful too. So it really looks like I, I am getting that somebody is talking somebody out of something using, using God. I, I'm not religious, but I'm going to say God just because these are archangel cards and, you know, there's Christian and Catholic people out there. But it, to me, it matters not, you know, the I... The power in the sky can be called many names. They have many names. Okay, so it's whatever you believe in. It's the ultimate one presiding over all of us. Okay, so somebody... It's like a miracle. It's a miracle. A miracle intervention. <laughs> and I just saw um, the Lion King. Uh, was it Pumbaa and... Uh, Pumbaa and Timon? Intervention... So this feels like an intervention of some kind. Somebody stops a crime through love and compassion. Huh. Interesting. All right, guys. That's all I got for you today. I'm not going to pull any more cards. We're already at 48. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.